Welcome to episode 67 of A Week in the Life of a UK Student Reseller. This week we've got one important Yeezy release with the Yeezy slides releasing in the bone and resin colorways. Resins I think are a big brick all around even in big sizes I'm just gonna write them off. Bones I think gonna be profitable across the board but like always best sizes will be to target our 6, 7 and 11 plus so that's what we'll be focusing on. I think Osprey should drop them first come first serve and Foot Locker seems to have very good stock so those are the two main we'll be running. I think Mesh may drop them as well, we'll have to wait and see on the Mesh plug but nevertheless those are the slides we'll be going for this week. Adidas is also set to release the Pulse Beats with in collaboration with Peter Seville so they look good profitably on eBay mostly so that's what I'll be targeting as well and I think best sizes will be 10 to 12 and I think we can make around 30 to 40 per pair of those. So those are the two main releases we're going to be focusing on this week. Stay tuned to see how we get on. Right folks, just got a package in from JD Sport today so let's just get straight into it. box is actually in decent shape, that looks fine. It is a size 6 in the pattern orange or Halloween done lows in the women's. So here they are in hand, a lot shinier in hand obviously because of that pattern design but you've got that orange reminiscent of the Syracuse colorway against that white and black which I think is a nice um, touch and it should do fairly well however I'm not sure how far the pattern leather will go and it's also got these satin laces as well which is a nice touch um, but let's dive into the shoe starting off with that orange outsole full Nike Dunk sole with the white hits on the midsole of course and then as I said the orange hue are in that pattern gradient similar to a pattern bread and that's contrasted with this orange um, black pattern swoosh with the white leather which is um, just regular leather, no pattern on there. You've got that Nike embroidered there, and then on the tongue there is that Nike with an orange here. Uh, no extra laces, um, just a clean orange and white silhouette, which is pretty decent. Um, I think at the moment they're going for like 120, 130, but as with these, I think these can easily be a 150 shoe in the next couple of months or so. So that's what I'll be holding up to. But I'll list them now and see if I get any interest around the 150. And if I do, obviously, I'll just sell. But a nice little low key pickup on the JD Sports Raffle um, orange pattern. But yeah, that's all we got on today. Stay tuned for some more updates. Right, folks, as you can see, just got a couple more orders in the mail. So let's just get straight into it. First one up is an orange label. This one is a Osaka Dunk High in a US 10 UK 9. They had a Loki restock on a skate shop and we managed to pick a pair up. Shout out to Escape for the Ping. Already seen this one on the channel before. You know, I like the different swoosh design and the all white is very clean. Um, I think I got it for like £120 in total, so pretty good. It's selling for around, I think, 200 220 at the moment, so you can definitely make some good profit on this one. Size 9, not the best size, wouldn't prefer a 10 or above, but we'll take it nevertheless. Fast shipping as well. And then we got these five, so let's go get straight into them. Right, folks, then we got another four pairs of the Soleil Benbury Crocs in the cobbler colorway. Already seen this, we already have about like 25 pairs or so in total now. And as I said, they're not that great at the moment, but I think they'll be a fine shoe for selling at Christmas. These are all size eight, so not too bad, low size on the better volume of sales. Um, we'll just be selling all of these around around Christmas time. But those are the two pickups we got today. Stay tuned for some more updates. Right folks, just got a couple more packages in the mail today, so let's just get straight into it. First one up, another Soleil Benbury Croc in a US 8. Next one from Office, box looks fine. It is a GS 550 white and grey. 
picked it up off the office restock, shout out to Flex for the ping. They're only about 70 to buy and I think you can easily make 125. Just a grade school in the smaller size of the other 550 and I think the white and grey will do fine for Christmas as well. So you've already seen that shoe so we won't need to go into depth. And then last one is from Offspring. Um, as you can see from the box, it is a dunk box. This one is a size 6 in the olive. They shock dropped them and flex pinged super fast so we managed to pick another one up. Pretty clean colour blocking if I do say so. Um, I, I like it. Um, not as much as the Michigan, but definitely clean colour blocking for women nevertheless. This is just going straight out for 160, so not too bad. You've already seen, I already picked up another pair of Office, so I've managed to grab two pairs in total so far. So shout out to Flex for the ping on this one. But yeah, just three pickups, really rapid this one. Stay tuned for some more updates. Right folks, just got a, a quick triple unboxing for you guys, so let's just get straight into it. Right folks, as you can see, we got three more Yeezy Slide Flax in the mail, two size 10s and one size 9. They've shop dropped them on um, NYT and we managed to pick up three pairs with Flex, so definitely a big shout out to Flex for the uh, ping and Flex IO for the cop on these. Uh, three pairs, as I said, can easily move these um, for 100, 120 at consignment, so that's what I'll be doing with these pairs. I think they will go up slightly for Christmas anyway, so not a bad hold in the bigger sizes anyway, but again, big shout out to Flex and Ignify for the cop on those. Stay tuned for some more updates. Right folks, we just got a couple packages in the mail, so let's just get straight into it. The first one is um, this full package. So let's have a look. So the first one is this Nike Craft tee from Tom Sachs. Picked it up in a size small. I think I can make around like 20 to 30 pound on top. It was only like 35 dollars to buy, so it should be a nice easy flip. Next one is from DHL, so let's get into it. As you can tell from the box, another blank canvas. This one in a UK 10. US 11, which is good, uh, good size, shout out to Clown ACO, in particular Maddie for the pair, managed to hit me this off a slot, so definitely don't sleep on Clown ACO, this will be a great hold going into Christmas, and I think it can easily reach 320, 350 by then, so if you haven't already, buy pairs at the round 250 mark and you should be easily able to get 320, 350 by Christmas. But those are the two pairs we got today, stay tuned for some more updates. Right folks, just got the one package in the mail today from Nike, so let's get straight into it. As you can tell from the box, it's the new Jordan 1 SE box. This one is the French blue in a size 11, UK US 12. So here is the French blue or Hyper Royal mid, exactly the same as a Hyper Royal, just in a mid format and then of course it's got this red accent through the blue Jumpman. Um, starting off, you've almost got like a translucent outsole which is a cool addition, then you've got the white midsole, the grey swoosh, red Nike tag as I said, then this one comes with the red air drawn on the tongue, you've got the red laces and then the blue laces are factory in it which is nice and then you've got this um, blue hyper royal suede or French blue as they're calling it with the blue lining, well the French blue is exactly the same as the hyper royal but however the leather on the toe box and side panels is significantly worse just use this in mid but nevertheless it is a nice color blocking and i think it will do well in the long term at the moment only going for around like 10 or 20 on top but i definitely think this is a great shoe at consignment for people that are looking for a nice jordan one coming up to that holiday season now i think we can easily reach 150 170 so not a problem uh just a nice low-key little flip but yeah that's all we got today stay tuned for some more updates
Right folks, we just got a bunch of orders as you can see, so let's just dive straight into them. So firstly, it was the slides drop yesterday and we managed to secure two pairs in sort of the bone. The first one is from seven stores in a size eight. So first time the 2022 pair releasing in the bone in the UK so and Europe it's cool to see the bone finally inside so here is the bone it's just like the bone 2021 however it's got that redesigned foam um, with the textured effect and more durable foam nothing really more to say about it you know slides by now they're either a quick flip or a nice couple month hold before the next restock it's slightly lighter color than the pure I think a lot of people will like this colorway as it's a um, really easy and wearable color uh, the next one we got from Foot Locker is a size 7 uh, size 7 in the bone as well it's one of the last pairs they had but yeah again size 7 in the bone so a good size that best sizes I recommend targeting if you are looking to uh, pick up any pairs cheaply are sizes 6, 7 and 11 to 14. Those are the sizes I've seen perform well more long term, the other sizes not so much. Uh, then we got this package in the mail so let's just get into it. So as you can see PlayStation Digital Edition. Haven't had one of these in a long time as you haven't really been producing digital um, stock as readily. So I've been holding off on the discs as they're just not really profitable for the clients at the moment. But nevertheless, discs are digital, so I think I can easily make 100 on top, so not too bad. Then I'll just unpack all these grey ones and get back to you. Right, folks, up next is the Adidas uh, Pulse Beat SPZLs in collaboration with Peter Spill, the art and graphic designer, art director and graphic designer. So they're a triple back design and we managed to hit 13 pairs in total. So a big shout out to Neo for the pairs of um, these. All in size 10 to 12, so great sizes. So let's get into it. First off comes in this all black box with this draw box. Box is a lot more heavier than usual, um, but that's to be expected. First thing you get with the collaboration is the Peter Seville leather insoles. So you've got um, you've got the graphic design, you know, as you see from like Joy Division and other that that kind of graphic design he does, which is cool. A nice addition to the pairs. Then you. Uh, then you bring out the pairs. Then on the bottom of the box, it's got um, Pulse Beat, and then it's like SS22, and then it's, it's just as you like the, the model number and stuff like go you know, for that like digital or cyberpunk kind of theme that all his um, graphic design and film filming work is based and art works based on. But here are the shoes. So you've got a triple black design, um, pretty decent quality actually. So you've got the black standard um, Adidas sole for this for Pulse Beats, and then black midsole, black upper, and then um, black tongue, all leather with this, uh, with again the um, Joy Division inspired graphic and it does come with a pair of black extra laces so if you want to um, switch out you can then on the insole it's got a pulse beat of Manchester as that's where the shoes are inspired by it's got this beautiful suede all around which is actually very good and nice and fuzzy for the short head nature and then it's got a nice grey accent on the back with that charcoal matte finish a um, really nice clean Shoe, if I do say so myself. Adidas, I think, have done a great job with this shoe. Um, do Seville as well. But yeah, that is what the shoes look like. 
Um, currently reselling for around 160 to 180, so around 30 to 40 on top, which isn't too bad. Just some lunch money for up and coming releases coming up. But yeah, that's all we got in today. Stay tuned for some more updates. Thank you folks so much for watching this week's episode. Pretty successful across the board. We were able to hit three slides in total, one off Offspring in a size 13, so great money size, and then two in store from Southern Store and Foot Locker. Sadly, no online on Foot Locker or Mesh. We did get a lot of carts on Foot Locker, but sadly, just due to data term security, it was so hard to check out. So hopefully I can figure that out for next time. Mesh, no carts really for me. Uh, we did get some resins, but I didn't check them out. And then the Adidas Pure Pulse Beats, we did manage to get 13 pairs, so great cookout from them. And big shout out to Neo Escape and Flex for the pairs this week. Next week, we should have some more Dunks restocking along with a restock of the Bart Simpsons SBs on some sites. And then, of course, the Black and Whites are scheduled to release Monday, a big restock, so a lot of retailers should start to get their pairs in. And I think Offspring probably will shop drop them as well as Office, so we'll definitely be on the lookout for that. But that's all for this week's episode. Stay tuned for the next week's episode to see how we get on.